We are at Piccolo Restaurant, where owner and head chef Doug Flicker has taken a small space and turned it into one of the most innovative restaurants in Minneapolis. Let's go check it out. So tell me a little bit about what you do here at Piccolo. Uh, what we do here at Piccolo is basically uh, produce a uh, tasting menu, um, type items available on la carte. We reduce uh, the size of each portion. So it's uh, like small plate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's small plates for, again, lack of kind of better words. Mm -hmm. But we shave everything down, reduce the portion size, get rid of a lot of the filler, and kind of give you what I feel is the appropriate amount of food to eat per portion. was the best restaurant between New York and LA. He said it was his most inspired and inspiring it, meal that he had. Well, fantastic. Yeah. So what makes um, Piccolo stand out? I think part of it is not, is, is obviously on the surfaces and portion size. Um, okay. But what that allows us to do is start using products like uh, pigtails, pig tongue. Uh, we have a boneless chicken wing on the menu now with sweet bread where we bone the chicken out. Uh, roll it up, um, take sweetbreads, and make kind of a, a faux chicken wing. Um, and those are things that you could never do in a larger format, more conventional style restaurant. That's awesome. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Rochester, so I grew up south of here. So, Minnesota born. Yeah, exactly. Born and bred. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's home. And I, and I think, you know, this is where I'm supposed to be. Well, I can't wait to go see some food and taste some, more importantly. Together. Go do something. Yeah. And what's the name of this dish? So this is the uh, homemade cavatelli, potato cavatelli, uh, with artichokes, bone marrow, and sea urchins. Now for the best part. So you get this kind of nice. Okay, a little bit of that. I'm taking your guy over there. You know, you could almost say surf and turfish. You know, bone marrow is the steak. Mm. A little sea urchin, briny and salty. Really nice combination of flavors. Yeah, and texture-wise too. The artichoke almost mimics the pasta. Mm -hmm. Nice tooth feel to it. A tooth, is that what you do? Yeah. yeah. Tooth feel. Like this dish has great tooth feel. Tooth feel. So this is a uh, uh, burrata cheese. Burrata? Uh, burrata. Okay. Uh, it's an Italian cow's milk cheese. It's basically mozzarella inside mozzarella. So one of the dishes that we do on the menu now is uh, burrata cheese with heirloom tomatoes and clamato. It's kind of tomato on tomato. Uh, saltiness of the clam, really creaminess of the, uh, the burrata cheese. And again, just a little kind of humorous twist. Yeah, I love Grab it. Grab a couple of forks. Okay, can I get into it? Yes, please. Okay, I want to get like all these little elements in there. And you just kind of get the little extra chill from the frozen clamato. Mm. Little unexpected. Yeah. Mm. The, the cheese is so creamy. And yeah. then that little clamato. Yeah. Same thing. Hey. Two textures from the outside of the burrata mm. um, and the inside. As well as two beautiful. different flavors and textures from the tomato and the And the tomatoes clamato. are just like obvious one. Yeah. Doug, thank you so much yeah, for you. showing us around your restaurant, cooking for us, and just taking time out of your day for us. What thank you. Thank you. Piccolo!